Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel's Hot Off Us. We're gonna do this inside. Today, what you're watching right now is potentially the very first video of the actual pictures of the S650, all new, brand new, 2024 Ford Mustang. Basically what we're gonna do today is I've got a few pictures that were sent to me from a friend of mine and this is all like hours before the unveiling. But unfortunately I'm not there in Detroit, but what I have here are the actual pictures of the S650 Mustang that was sent to me from a friend of mine. Remember, uh, months ago we did a bunch of videos where we broke down the camo images, we broke down the interior. I said in those videos, and it spread around the internet as soon as I said this, that it looked like it was a Fox body modern styled interior. Just a rebirth of the Fox body interior, just with a modern touch. I had made some speculations about the center screen with the infotainment center. Uh, that was all going to be like one piece. And there was a couple, there's actually a lot of people out there who were like, no, it's not going to be. And I was like, yes, it will. Watch this. Just, just mark my words. It will be. And guess what? It is. So anyway, so we're going to deep dive. We're going to take a look into the exterior. Let's start with the exterior first. So let's pull that one up because as soon as my buddy sent these pictures to me, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm really not sure how I feel about this. It, to me, and I've been saying this for a long time, from what we have gathered so far with the camoed up cars is, I, I see a lot of Mach 1. It's almost like a Mach 1 had a baby with an S197. So they're they're trying to uh, go old school. They're trying to go retro, but with a modern touch. That's what this entire car is about from as far as I can tell. Old school, reminiscent of like what they did with the S197, but they're bringing it into uh, the current age. So we already know about the new headlights. We're not going to beat that to death. A lot of people, including myself, are really on the fence about how those actually look. But seeing it here now on this finished image uh, from Ford is, it looks good. Actually, I don't think that I hate it anymore. I really don't. It's got a lot of mach -E kind of styling cues built into this. It's like a Mach 1 mach -E, and an S197 all together. It's almost like Ford was like, hey, we have all these really cool ideas. How do we make this, how do we put this into like one package? And that is basically what I think the S650 is. So right now I'm filming, buddy of mine, he's actively sending me pictures. So if, as we go through this, if we get into like some side profile shots, I will definitely incorporate that into this video. But if they're not just like power numbers, you know, all the final details we're gonna cover in the future, I don't have those yet. What we're gonna do is break down, like I said, the exterior, interior, my thoughts. Starting off with the front of it. All right, we obviously see a few different trims here. It looks like you've got the EcoBoost to the left, okay? And then you've got the GT Convertible to the right. And then you have what most people are probably gonna go for is that Mustang GT dead center in the front. And the more I look at it, the more I'm just kind of like, I, I guess I'm warming up to this whole thing now that we've kind of seen it, you know, the camo cars running around for months now. And, you know, there's been a bunch of renderings and stuff like that that we've cover, covered on the channel. And uh, now we are seeing it here in the flesh. So let me zoom in here because there's a lot to talk about. So, so roof line looks the same from the front profile. The reshaping of the front hood looks good. It's something that I think has been missing for some time and it's that cowl in the center. I really like the way that it brought it back. Remember the 1819s and 20s all the way up to the 2023 had that kind of flat spot in the center. Now we have looks like an actual somewhat of a cow, a baby cow, which I am digging. And you obviously have that big freaking vent right there in the center. I like it. I think it looks really cool. So this thing is rumored to have dual intakes. I don't know if that's going to actually be true or not. That's going to be revealed later tonight, probably, hopefully. And we'll get into the performance and all that stuff of the S650 in later videos, uh, more details to follow, obviously. But roof line, hood, that center grill, uh, vent in the hood, um, the grill. Okay, they lose me at the grill, honestly. It's the way I like. I like the bars, that's very reminiscent of Mustang, but where it kind of like folds down over the, the, the bumper there, the center of the bumper, that is, it's to me, I need to see this thing in person. I'm kind of lost on this whole car for that, just that specific little region of the car, that area, that center. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about all of this? Now, we go down to the lower left and right and all of the bottom there. That is screaming to me very Mach 1, okay? Uh, it looks like the, the venting on the left and right side of that bumper 
Looks to me like maybe there's room for some coolers or something like that, just like we've seen on the GT350s, the Shelbys, and the Mach 1. I would suspect that we're going to see some maybe like trans coolers, oil coolers, or you know something like that in those, those areas. So the fangs, how they swoop down, like I said, all Mach 1, all Mach 1, all reminiscent of the GT350 and the Shelby. So this is a bunch of ideas. It's like they had a team and everybody had their own opinion, but they wanted to include everybody, make it a team thing, and how do you make that happen into one package? And this is honestly what I'm looking at here is a bunch of stuff into one vehicle. The longer I sit here and I stare at this, the more I don't hate it as much. Again, remember when the 18 refresh came out and everybody hated it because it looked like some kind of weird thing. Um, but as soon as you saw it in person, everybody was like, oh yeah, including myself, you know, I hated that car in the beginning. But when I saw it in person, game changer. As far as side profiles, I don't have those yet, unless as I do this video, my buddy sends me the pictures and then, you know, I will include them first. So make sure you don't skip out yet. So. Let's jump to the interior real quick. Okay, so just like I've talked about in other videos, we did one where I talked about it being a modern Fox body interior and that video blew up and everybody pretty much agreed. Now we have the revealing, the whole thing uncovered of exactly what I thought, exactly what I said it was gonna be. So Maki style, Bronco style, uh, center airbag there and steering wheel, flat bottom, freaking awesome finally finally ford you're doing something right you're moving into the modern age and uh it's been we've been all been waiting years for something like this a flat bottom steering wheel this is a performance car at the end of the day so i'm really really liking what i see here so real quickly because we've already covered the uh interior to death but again we do have pretty much an uncovered picture here so what we couldn't see before was down there by the shifter, okay, and that whole center console. Now we have a pretty good idea of what that looks like from this uh, actual picture. Still has a manual transmission, obviously. Definitely gonna still have a 10 R80, I would suspect. Uh, I don't think that Ford's gonna be moving away from the 10 R80 anytime soon. Kind of cool to see, you know, everybody wants manuals, at least a manual option and a Mustang. And I think that Ford came out with a SX50, 2024 Mustang and it did not have a manual option, people would go crazy ballistic. Even though that they may not sell as much as the 10 r Radio automatics, it's still nice to see that the manual is still there. Save the manuals, right? Go we'll move up to, we've already covered the, uh, the, the center area there where the air vents and stuff like that. If you pull up, if you look at a Fox body interior, like I talked about in other videos, um, it's very reminiscent just with that modern touch and more, I see a lot of, I'll tell you what I do see is I see a lot of luxury here. I see a lot of stitching, a lot of soft touch materials is what it looks like. A lot of the door from what we can see is pretty much the same pedal placement down there, pretty much the same. Guys, this is not, a clean sheet build. This is basically a huge refresh interior and exterior of the S550. This is not clean sheet build. You know, 2020 happened and the world fell apart and then, uh, you know, things are tough to get. And so Ford, I think, may do with what they had and just amplified it and and, uh, and grew upon the chassis that we've already got, the S550. Details come out, I would definitely assume that we're going to see some uh, power drivetrain improvements. Uh, will we see 500 horsepower out of this car? I don't know. Definitely probably going to get a little bit better in suspension, uh, updated Magna ride and so on and so forth. Uh, but as far as the rest of the interior goes, I like what I see here. It does lose the dual, the double cowl, which is notorious for Mustang. Now it's all pretty much straight across. But now what we have here is this giant cluster. It's all digital and it actually is one piece to the infotainment center. That was my opinion and that's what I called months ago. And it's really cool to actually see that this is happening. So really neat, really tech savvy here in the S650 Mustang. Let's go to the back. Let's wrap up this video because there's a lot. This is a big day. Later on, so this is hours in advance. This is filmed hours in advance of the actual revealing in Detroit. So anyway, about the exterior, I'm lost. <laughs> I'm, I, I don't really know how I feel about the exterior right now. Um, again, looks like an 18 Mustang with the curvature of the, uh, the taillights there, but with an S197 touch, uh, we see a new emblem for the GT. It's got performance written in there, which is actually kind of cool. A little bit of a different logo there. The diffuser, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that diffuser. It looks to me, it looks too plasticky in my opinion. Um, gosh, man, I don't know. So that third brake light or that reverse light is down there. Okay. It it's, looks to be, it looks to be like it's a lot longer. Okay. 
So we still have quad exhaust, which is great. But the diffuser, you got uh, the plastic and then you got where it dips in and it comes up above and around, okay? Kind of feel like I wish that that was painted because I feel like it's just a giant plastic black mess back there. I, I don't know. It does look like, um, obviously we can see here that the deck lid is not that shiny black anymore, so it's gonna be body colored. That's fine, it actually looks pretty good. But yeah, the bottom diffuser, I don't know. That's gonna be, uh, it's gonna take me some time, I think. And in, in addition to the tail, I tell they sink in like that because the whole back, remember, the S550 comes down and then it slopes down with the deck lid and then straight back with the bumper, right? This looks like it's doing a V inside. So you have a lot of curvature with the taillights. I, uh, I think it's cool, it's modern. I'm really sure of how I feel about the diffuser yet. Again, let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this whole thing. So that's pretty much in a nutshell. That's what I've got for you so far. As things develop, you know, we'll push more videos out. S650 experience and, you know, the unveiling and all that, so on and so forth. Uh, you know, I've got some buddies up there in Detroit right now. They're going to get to actually see this thing in person. Unfortunately, I'm still back here in Tennessee having to live vicariously through YouTube and the internet to actually see this thing. But... This is going to be one of the first, if not the first, S650 revealing of the new 2024 Mustang on YouTube. So I appreciate you guys watching, hanging in there. And let me know, again, your thoughts and comments, your feedback in the comments down below. And definitely subscribe if you are interested in stuff like this because, you know, I'm a car enthusiast. And it's an interesting direction, I think, that Ford has chosen to go with, you know, blending the, the past with the present. It's kind of a back to the future car, if you will just with a modern twist. So I, I think it looks cool. Let me know what you think in the comments. A lot of guys are still on the fence about the head, the headlights and the taillights and that rear diffuser. I think uh, I'm lost there. There's a couple of things, like I said, about the car that I'm just like, eh, why? But as far as most of the rest of it, from what I see, it looks pretty good. The interior, I'm sold. But let me know what you think in the comments. Remember, subscribe for more content on the S650 Mustang. Maybe we'll be able to get another video out uh, uh, before the actual unveiling, which would be really cool. So anyway, time will tell. And uh, I'm going to call my buddy right after this, see if he's got anything more, see if he's got any more detailed uh, information for me so I can get that to you guys before the show tonight at 8 o'clock in Detroit. So this is kind of like a little sneak peek. I appreciate you guys watching. I love you all. God bless every one of you. I'll see you later. Bye.